we'll have a tour of the features of CST4. Uh, the first thing we'll look at is the interface language selector. Uh, by default, CST4 uses English, but uh, let's open up some windows. If you change the if you change the selection for the language, uh, all of the interface elements uh, for dialog boxes, menus, the tooltips, uh, they all change to the selected language. So, next we will look at the open book dialog. You can open a book from this window, and you can open this window by the menu item, Book Open, or through this button, or the keystroke Control O. The books are organized into four divisions, the Tipitaka, the Words of the Buddha, and then two levels of commentaries on the Tipitaka, the Atakata and the Tika, and then Anya. Anya is the miscellaneous category, and that includes the Visuddhimagga, uh, the books by Ledi Sayada in Pali, and uh, several other categories of uh, miscellaneous Pali books that are outside of the, the main uh, Tipitaka and commentaries. Now let's open a book. I'll navigate down to the Dignikaya. I'll open DN2. You can you can select text and and copy it with control C just as any other place in Windows, Control C. Uh, there's a print function, so you can select text and either go to the button, the print button, or book print, or Control P. You can print a selection, or you can print a whole book. There is a print preview for a large book like this. It takes takes a minute for that to load. This book is a few hundred pages. So there's a print preview and you can change some of the, the print settings there. Uh, there's also here a page setup that's related to the print settings. So that's the print feature. In this open book, there are these, these uh, words and phrases that are in blue in square brackets, and those are footnotes in the original Chetta Sangayana edition of the Tipitaka. And you can turn those off and on with the view show footnotes. Usually the Footnotes. Most of the footnotes are variant readings. There are uh, differences in the text between editions of the Tipitaka. Uh, this one is a difference in Thai. That's Sia. Uh, other, other common uh, abbreviations are Kung for Cambodian, P for PTS, and also uh, C for Sinhalese. Now let's look at script. So I have open this book in Roman script. Let me open another book. And the select a book window. I can change the script on a single book. 
and that affects only that window. Or I can change the script at the top level in this toolbar and that will change it in every open window as well as in the open book uh, uh, in the open book window uh, and that also uh, so that also changes uh, the that navigation I'm going to change that back to Roman at the top level you can open two copies of a book and and you can change the script on one of them so that's a good way if you want to learn a new poly script you can you can read them and compare them side by side you can organize windows as you just saw that that's this is called tile this is called tile vertical this is tile horizontal and cascade you can you can organize the windows uh, in the uh, in the tile by selecting them first in the opposite order that you want them to appear so if I select first the Roman and then the Devanagari, and then I say tile vertical, the Devanagari will appear first. I can maximize the book by double clicking the title. I can get it back to a window by clicking the button there. <clears throat> so navigating within the book. Several ways to do that. This is a drop-down that allows you to choose the, uh, the sutta in the case of this Dignakaya book. Uh, let's jump to the Mahasaripatana sutta. And <clears throat> you can see that there are paragraph numbers the first is 372 in the case of the Satipatthana Sutta. You can use this arrow button or control G that's to bring up this go to window. So I can go to paragraph 372 and it will jump there. Uh, it always jumps to the to the paragraph and not to the preceding heading. Uh, down at the bottom in the status bar, you can see that there are these numbers, which are page numbers of different editions of the Tipitaka, and those follow along with hidden markers that are in the text. So this is these are these are roughly where the page breaks are uh, for wherever wherever I have scrolled to uh, within a line or two. So the Satipatthana Sutta is roughly on page 289 of the PTS edition of the Tipitaka. So if I, if I navigate away and then I bring up the go-to window, PTS page 289, then I jump back to, jump back to the Satipatthana Sutta. Let's bring that up as a regular window. Again, go to paragraph 372. You can view the corresponding commentary. You can view the corresponding commentarial literature, the Atakata and the Tika, by using these buttons that are in the toolbar. So these will bring up the corresponding sections. You can see in this case that there is no paragraph 372, but it, it got close. 
and similarly with with the tika, generally if if there's no 372 in the apakata, the same will be true of the tika, but but uh, those there's the the Satipatthana Sutta section uh, for uh, for the uh, for each of these three books. And finally, the dictionary. Back to the top, I'm going to highlight the word Samayang. I can bring up a dictionary either with search word or by clicking the dictionary icon or control D for dictionary. And it tries to find that word in the dictionary. Uh, it will it will make an attempt to uh, to find that word by by prefix, because often uh, the word that you select will be a, a declension of the noun or a conjugation of the verb. Uh, so it it uh, it will it will chop off some letters and then um, and then do a search. So here it's find, found uh, for English it finds uh, samayo. Uh, for the meaning of time, which is it is in this case, or in Hindi, it finds finds samaya. In the next video, we'll do a deep dive into the search feature of CST4.